Hello everyone. If you are looking for a job as a developer or a tester in 2020, you would already know the importance a GitHub link provides when put it on your resume. So today we will try to learn what is what is GitHub, like how what's the importance of GitHub in your in your job search process then how it should be and what the interviewer looks for in a github profile when he sees it on the resume myself rakesh kothari i'm the co-founder of micro degree i have been working as a senior software developer for the last 10 years also have been a technical lead I have taken multiple interviews for freshers as well as experienced professionals and I would like to take this opportunity to share that knowledge with you guys. So let's get started. First step, we will see why should I learn Git, you know, what is the significance of GitHub in 2020 for interviews. So if you search for Git in Google, you get two things. One is Git. There's the first one takes you here. And this is a Git as a software. We will talk about it in the further upcoming videos. Next one is GitHub. And that is this website. So we'll be talking the importance of GitHub in your job search process. So as a first step, we'll, let's try to see what the github profile of top developers in the world look like that way we can get inspired and maybe we can emulate it so this is a github profile of dan abramo he is a co-founder of a biggest uh, open source project called react maintained by facebook so this is how it looks so it has like multiple projects Right, and it also shows his activities like he, whatever active uh, code changes he has done. Similarly, you can see another professional developer who has a set of projects listed, and maybe a few others. So, this is one more uh, called Sophie Alper, even she has. Uh, code changes done regularly. So if you want to build your own GitHub profile, maybe this is how it might look. So this is one of the profile, right? And it has a set of uh, projects with different languages. Next step, let's try to click on one of the project and see what are the main components of a GitHub project. Right. So I clicked on the online bookstore, this one, right, and it took me here. And the first thing which I get to see is what the project is about. Right. So it has, we'll focus on mainly three components right now. The first is a readme file. Right? So a readme file is somewhere, uh, something where you get to know what the project is all about. So the Instructions to set up the project in your local is the information given in the readme file. So this is one of the most important part of uploading things into GitHub. Second important part is the code itself. So this is the actual code which the developer has written as and uploaded. And the third part is the code uh, download link where I can download the code whatever he has written and see or maybe add more a few more things to it so overall a github has three components a readme a code the main code and the download and up for this video we will just stick to these three things so that it's not overwhelming so next step this is the most important part right? what does an interviewer look for in your github profile right? why what is he exactly looking? But before going there, uh, let's try to see how you should uh, represent a GitHub URL and how the companies look for. 
So in 2020, if you are applying for startups, right, they, when you upload your resume, they would normally have a GitHub URL field itself. And if you can see, they have it mandatory. So that's the importance of GitHub URL. So if you have a GitHub profile and it's a mandatory field, you need to put that. So that's the basic minimum as of today. Next, we will see where to put your GitHub link even if they don't ask. So if this is your resume, you normally put it as part of your email and mobile contact details uh, like this. And you could also put your LinkedIn. So GitHub plays a big role in moving you towards the interview stage, almost skipping the main competition. So that is the importance of a GitHub link and it has become a de facto standard for developer roles and tester roles. Coming back, uh, let's see what does the interviewer look for in your GitHub profile. So normally he tries to see if you have a hands-on experience. Coding is like mathematics. You need to have the actual uh, hands-on experience to get to know things. Second, the interviewer gets to know uh, your way of thinking, your analytical and logical thinking. He gets to know when he sees your code in the GitHub profile. And the third and the most important part is the coding standards. He tries to see if you're following the coding standards because you'll be working as part of a team. So let's get in and try to see a code from this particular developer, assuming he has given his GitHub profile link in his resume. So I click on the link from his resume and I land up on this page if I'm an interviewer. So I try to get in say, from the overall picture, I try to see, okay, this developer has worked on Java project. He has also worked on a JavaScript project and he has, has also exposure to something called Kotlin programming language and few other. So I'm kind of impressed seeing his profile because he has experience across programming languages. That is good. And he has put all his uh, applications, whatever he has developed in his profile link, neatly tagged. Uh, but I also get to see that he has been uploading things at uh, brief span. That's fine if he's a pressure. So that's the overall picture I get. Now I try to click on say online bookstore and I get to land on this. Next step, I try to see the <clears throat> project details, right? He has written the description well, and he has uploaded the code for say, this is a shopping cart project. And he has written the uh, details of the project on what the project does at a high level. So that's a good thing. Next step is I'll try to understand uh, from the code perspective, uh, how he has written a code. So I'll try to get in the actual code. Right? So I'll go into the folder structure and when I get in itself, I get to have, I'm getting a very good feeling that he is following the right naming conventions. Right? And if I get in, so, and I can directly see whatever code he has written for the different functionalities. So I get to see, okay, he has written the code, he has formatted it well, and the logical part also I get to know. So that's the high level idea I get just by uh, browsing over what the code he has written. So that's the second important part. Next, the final and the most important part which I get to see is the coding standards. Because if you are working for me, uh, then I would like to understand if you're following the coding standards. So when I say coding standards, it's the basic minimum set of rules for different programming languages you need to follow. It could be, for example, um, naming the file, right? So if you are, so this developer has named the file starting with a capital letter and a con the consecutive words he has written starting with capital. So that's a right convention. So that is one thing. So he has followed that. And what's the next thing? So I get to see he is naming the variables to in a camel case. If you 
I'm not sure if you know what is camel case. It's like you start the word with a small case and then the consecutive words come in capital. So that is another naming convention used for Java programming languages. And few other things where the class name starts with a capital and the method signature. So that's the main part which I get to see uh, because if you are developing applications, the world-class applications you are normally expected to follow the basic uh, coding standards so that you don't hamper the existing project so that's the overall idea i get as an interviewer when i look at your github profile so i get to see your hands-on experience your way of thinking and if you're following the right coding standards now what are the advantages for you uh, from the interview standpoints, let's try to understand that. So, first and main advantage you would get putting your GitHub link on the resume is you might end up getting an easy interview because the questions will be around the project you have worked on, and that's the biggest advantage. Normally, what happens is the, the interviewer ends up asking questions randomly out of the topic and you couldn't show off what you know so this way with the github link you can tell the interviewer that i have worked on all these projects and i have fair bit of hands-on experience and the interviewer too will have a boundary to ask questions around and it's a win-win for both of us so that's the biggest advantage from the interview standpoint So next step, what is the advantage from the learning standpoint? So up till now, we were trying to understand from the interview side. So the first main advantage, like we already saw, is we can see the code from the top developers in the world. So that's the biggest advantage. You need not have a mentor who can guide. You can yourself dive in and see what the top developers code and what their thought process is. So those are the biggest thing where your learning curve could be way higher. And the third and the most important part is the open source contribution. So let's try to understand what's the open source contribution. So we'll take an example of the React project from Facebook. So this is an open source project and we'll try to understand more in the future classes on what open source is. But uh, as a developer, if you are contributing to an open source project, the weightage it gives to your resume is unmatchable. So you will be listed in the contributors for an open source project and you can show off that you have contributed to the open source project. So that is the biggest advantage as a developer to have a GitHub profile around the interview process. And so overall, a GitHub profile has become a mandatory part of a developer's life. So we have we have looked in this video how it is important as part of a job search. But in the next part, we'll try to see how a GitHub profile will help you work on a project. A Git a GitHub is was made to help build a world class project, or whenever you're building an app or a website as a team uh, this plays a big role in moving things forward so that's what we will try to understand in the next part also we will try to see the difference between git and github and that's a very basic question they'll ask in interviews what's the difference between git and github so we'll check on all those in the future upcoming videos and this is rakesh kotari signing off Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and like our videos and if you have any doubts please feel free to put it in our comment section thank you